Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and this is a how-to video suggested by one of our users who had a little bit of trouble changing the language on his tablet. He received a tablet from a different country and uh, asked if I could help. So thanks for the, the suggestion, and I'll show you how to do that. So if you have Windows 8 and you need to change the language, you can use your mouse or you can use the touch controls. I'll show you both. So if you have a tablet, just swipe in from the side and you get the charms bar here. Now, if you have a mouse, you're going to drag your mouse to this corner and it will pop this menu open. Then you want to go to this gear here, which is settings. And under settings, you want to change PC settings. So it's this text underneath the icons here. Once this pops open, it's going to be time and language, which is the third up from the bottom. So time and language here. Under time and language, you obviously have your date and time, and this drop down will be time zone, but you'll want to change that later. On the left, the second one down is region and language. Under region and language, this is where you can pick what you have. So in my case, it says Windows and apps might use your country or region to give you local content. I have the United States picked. And you might want to pick where you're from there, but wait until you change the language down here. This one is the current language that's selected. If you tap on it, you can hit options, and that's not going to do you a whole lot of good. So what you want to do is add a language, and that's this little plus button here. So add a language, and here you'll be able to see your native language. So find English or whatever you speak, whatever's native to you. You can scroll over, and there's a ton of languages you can set up. Uh, so say we wanted to add Yoruba, if that's how you say that, we can add that. I actually don't want it. I can tap on it. So once I've got the one I want, uh, which is the primary language for me, I'll remove the other and just make sure you set your new one as primary and you'll be all set. Remove the other and that should hopefully help you out. So that's pretty simple on Windows. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. You want to see any more of these type of videos or you need help figuring out how to do something, let me know and maybe I can make a video and help you out as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.